panel. Uh, could we go down the line and we'd like to hear who you are, what you do, a little bit about why you do it, and how your job affects local and national government. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. My name is Rahel, uh, Rahel Michael, and I work with Senator Sheriff Brown's office. I've been with his office for about four years now. I, I started right after um, graduation from undergrad at Xavier University, um, and I worked on veteran and military casework for about two and a half years, and I currently focus on immigration casework, so I stay pretty busy, as you can imagine. Um, but Good evening, everybody. My name is Tamaya Denard. I am a first-time candidate for Cincinnati City Council. Although I am a first-time first candidate, I am not new to politics. Um, prior to uh, being a candidate, I was uh, Chief of Staff and Political Director for PG City Pills, currently a Cincinnati City Council member. Um, currently, I work for uh, Design Impact, which is a social innovation nonprofit. So basically, we take the design process we apply it to social justice issues. Um, a lot of what we do in innovation is part of the reason why I run the city council because we're using a lot of the same things we've used for years and it's time for new approaches. I'm very excited about being here. Politics is my passion and you know, representing people um, from underserved communities and underrepresented communities is why I'm here. So thanks for having me. Hello everybody, I'm Sherry Karen former mayor in the city of Covington. I lost my re-election um, in November 2016. I served uh, three two-year terms as city commissioner starting in 2007 and four years, one term as mayor. My degree's in architecture. I graduated from UC in 1974 in architecture. Um, I got involved um, in more environmental and smart growth issues. I served four two-year terms with our conservation district, which is like in Ohio, soil water conservation which got me involved in land use and smart growth issues and stormwater issues. And I had to um, go to city meetings to talk about those different issues that they were getting ready to vote on. And I was taken back about the lack of knowledge on issues that were very important to the community, but the elected leaders had very little knowledge as to how they were voting. So I, I decided to run for um, office, um, which I'm, I'm I will be honest with you, I'm, I'm not, um, I'm rather on the shy side, but I pushed myself to do it, and I'm glad I did. Um, and so anyway, um, I'm no longer mayor, I'm no longer um, involved, um, but I started out as a community activist, and I've gone back to being a community activist, and still serve with a lot of non-environmental um, nonprofits, um, Green Umbrella, Tri-State Trails, um, and I've also been involved in our heroin issue for the last four years. Good evening, everyone. My name is Aftab Pure Hall, and uh, I am the Hamilton County Clerk of Courts, just elected in November. Thank you. I think it's important to understand the context of that election. We uh, defeated a family name that had been on the ballot for 50 years, and we are the first Democrat to serve as the Clerk of Courts in over a century. And that's because of all of you. You may also know me for my, uh, my uh, undignified TV commercials. Forever and all known as the dumb guy. <laughs> I get quacked out a lot. People think it's funny. Uh, I'm, I'm very proud of my name. My uh, my parents gave me the name. Man. My name means sunshine. Uh, I'm the uh, the son of a refugee. Uh, thank you. And in particularly in these times, it's important to share our immigrant stories. And mine is no more unique than yours. Uh, my mom was born in in Tibet and was forced to flee her country when the communist Chinese took over. Uh, through, through the cover of darkness and, and over a period uh, of a long time, she traveled from uh, Tibet into Nepal and into India where she grew up as a refugee and against all odds, she got an education, she made it to college where she met my uh, crazy dad. Uh, the, the young couple got married and they wanted to come to the new world. They wanted to come to the United States. 
Uh, so my dad looked at a map of our country and from sea to shining sea, from New York to California, this man literally could have gone anywhere. <laughs> He chose Beaver Creek, Ohio. <laughs> no idea what he was thinking. But, but that, that, I, I was born and raised in, in the Dayton area, uh, went to public schools and, and ended up in, in Cincinnati. But, but what I really want to say uh, in this intro is uh, the, 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 the nascent Trump presidency uh, has, has been a time for me of, of great anger, um, uh, of, of great... Of, of, of great feeling um, of great empathy. Uh, it's, it's, it's put me in places that are very, very low uh, and very angry. But when I see the incredible demonstration outside of City Hall that I'm sure Chris will talk about uh, as it relates to sanctuary cities, when I see the incredible, inspiring march of women uh, just a few weeks ago, and when I see this room, Committed citizens, be they Republicans, Democrats, or Independents, I have great optimism for our future. So I just want to recognize that. But quickly, I'm the clerk of courts. The clerk of courts processes all of the documents that are relevant to cases pending in the municipal court, common pleas court, and court of appeals in Hamilton County. It's very much an administrative role, but it also has an important role and function for access to justice. Uh, the clerk of courts really is the main interface, the front door between the community and the court system. And when that front door is antiquated, when it's inefficient, when it's inaccessible, it really does undermine the kind of justice that our citizens in Hamilton County are getting. I'm passionate about throwing open the doors of the courthouse to every single person that lives in Hamilton County, uh, and that's why I ran for it. Thank you, guys. No one said that because of these lights, we can hardly see anyone out there. <laughs> so, um, but it's good to be here. My name is Chris Sealback. I'm a member of Cincinnati City Council, uh, where I've been for a little over five years. I'm originally from Louisville, Kentucky. I moved to Cincinnati to go to Xavier, then went to the University of Dayton uh, School of Law. Uh, worked on the staff of Vice Mayor David Crowley. Uh, then for six and a half years for a marketing consulting firm as Vice President and CFO. Uh, and then in 2000, actually in January 2011, uh, David Crowley passed away, uh, and I was uh, motivated and inspired to run uh, for council to, uh, for a number of reasons, one of which was to try to fill David's role as someone who wasn't trying to be governor or president, but that would have the courage every day to do what he thought was right, to take on issues of justice even when they were hard or difficult, or people said it couldn't be done and get them done. Uh, and then I also ran, uh, and everyone said, we like you, we think you have good ideas, but there's no way you can win, you're too young, you're not from here, and you're openly gay. Uh, and that November, we proved everyone wrong. Uh, I mean, uh, became the first openly gay person elected in the city. Uh, since then, since then, we've made substantial investments in amenities that I think are helping our city grow in population for the first time in 60 years. Uh, walkable neighborhoods, arts and thriving entertainment, diverse housing stocks, good transportation uh, options, uh, things that I'm proud of, but also investing $10 million in homeless shelters throughout the city, including homeless status in our city's hate crimes law, extending paid parental leave to all city employees, being the largest city in the United States to have 100% of our electricity backed by renewable sources. So I'm proud to have led those efforts, and I think it's been really in the city. Um, it's a place that young people, progressive people, want to be a part of, uh, and we have to continue to do that in this very scary time, because uh, for a lot of us who are different, uh, it's not only infuriating, but it's always, it makes us feel unsafe and uh, unworthy, and the cities and the states have to do a good job of protecting all people that Donald Trump is uh, put, putting forth his policy of exclusion towards. So I'm committed to being at every march, being at every parade, being at every uh, rally last night who we are in front of City Hall to make sure that we do everything possible in terms of the law, in terms of funding allocation, and in terms of supporting each other uh, to make this truly a country that not only uh, thinks that everyone deserves respect, but also values our differences uh, despite of our president. So I'm happy to be here.